When creating formulas, we use standard cell references to refer to data in a cell. Excel offers a way to refer to data that is contained in a table by using the table name and column headers. That combination of table names and column headers is called a structured reference. When you add formulas to an Excel table, those names appear automatically as you enter the formula and select the cell references in the table instead of manually entering them. Structured references can be used in formulas both inside and outside an Excel table. For example, to reference cells in table sales type equal to sum, select all rows D2 to D9 in column March. Excel automatically changes the reference to March, which is the column name. If your formula is located within the table it refers to, the table name is usually omitted because it is implied. Structured references also appear when you create a formula outside of an Excel table that references table data. For example, to sum all the values in March column cells D2 to D9, you use the sum function with a usual range reference equal to sum d2 colon d9. Since the cells are inside the table, you can use a structured reference formula. To include structured references in your formula, select the cells by clicking on them. Type equal to sum and select the range d2 to d9. Make sure to include all the rows. Excel changes the range to sales march. Table name and column header has been used. When you rename a column header, references are automatically updated with the new name. For example, change March to MAR. The formula is updated automatically. As you add new rows to the table, they are immediately included in the existing references and the formulas calculate the full set of data. Add new rows, click on the formula, the new rows have been included in the formula. Creating structured reference in a new column in Excel table will fill all the rows in that column with the same formula. This is called a calculated column. Enter a formula in E2. Type the closing parenthesis and press enter. Excel automatically fills the entire column with the same formula. As the result, the whole item totals column is auto filled with this formula equal to sum sales at jan colon march. The formula is in the table but table name is used in the reference when you use more than one column. Instead of clicking on the cells to select the cell references there is another way to make a structured reference. After the opening parenthesis start typing the table name. As you type the first letter, Excel will show all matching names. For example, to find the sum of all sales in sales table, start typing the sum formula. After the opening parenthesis, type S. Select the sales table in the list and double click on the name. As the result, we have this formula equal to sum sales. The table name sales references only the table data without header row or total rows. Usually a structured reference is represented by a string that begins with a table name and ends with a column specifier. As an example, let's break down the following formula that adds the values in Jan column in the table named sales. The reference has table name, column specifiers. Column specifier references the data in the corresponding column without the header row and total row. A column specifier is represented by the column name enclosed in square brackets, example John within square brackets. As with normal range references, you use a colon to refer to two or more adjacent columns in a table. Equal to sum sales 
John Colon March. To refer to specific parts of a table, you can use the item specifiers. The pound sign is used with the item specifiers. Pound all, the entire table including table data, column headers and total row. Pound data, the data rows. Pound headers, the header row. Pound totals, the total row. If there is no total row, it returns null. To refer to the cells in the same row where you enter the formula, Excel uses the at character followed by the column name. Union operator comma to refer to non-adjacent columns, separate the column specifiers with commas. Intersection operator space, it is used to refer to a cell at the intersection of a specific row and column. For example, to return a value at the intersection of the total row and feb column, use this formula. The column specifier does not include the total row. Without it, the formula will return pound null. Add the pound all specifier to include the total row in the column specifier. Now the formula shows the correct value. To find the number of columns and data rows in the table named sales, use these formulas. Equal to columns within parentheses sales, equal to rows within parentheses sales, to include the header and total rows in the count, use the pound all specifier. Equal to rows sales pound all. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.